I'm Pastor Ellie. And I'm Pastor Kurt. We're from Seven Seas Ministries. And welcome to our newest video. We're going to call this one Walking, Walking in, in the, the Dark. dark. <laughs> that was so, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we didn't practice that. No. Either. She always does that to me. <laughs> so we want to talk about how there were, there were times in our lives, um, hopefully not very often, mm -hmm. but times when we feel like maybe we're, we're just like walking in the dark. We mm -hmm. can't see where we're supposed to go, but we don't want to focus too much on, on like the here and now mm -hmm. when, when we're children of God, mm -hmm. when we want to, we want to kind of compare, you know, before we became a child of God to now and, mm -hmm. and, and then just kind of break it all down. Yes. So, mm -hmm. and you know, we don't, we don't rehearse this or no. practice this stuff. Can you tell? We you just, get what you get. We just wing it. So, you know, we before we become a child of God, mm -hmm. it's natural that we would be like somebody walking in the dark. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in a, maybe in a dark room, no windows, no doors, no light. Well, there has to be a door. They have to get into right. the room. <laughs> the door is closed and there are no lights in the room. Mm -hmm. And it's just pitch black. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's kind of symbolic of of how we are when we're not a child of God. Mm -hmm. And we, we're just trying to, you know, kind of like find our way, feel our way through life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if we come up against something, or, you know, if we're in a dark room and we touch something, we don't know what it is, it could freak us out and, mm -hmm. you know, scares us. And, and it's you a know, lot of fear in, yeah, that, in that room. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the same thing, you know, before we were children of God, before we found Christ, our life could be pretty scary. Mm -hmm. And we may not have even realized at the time that it was scary because right. we didn't know any better. Mm -hmm. You know, our eyes were closed, our heart mm -hmm. was not quickened. But, you know, when we look back, as children of God, we look back at our lives before we were children of God. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I've done it personally, and I'm sure we've, we've all done that. We've looked back at our lives and said, mm. wow. Yeah. You know, <laughs> That was pretty scary. Yeah, how did I make yeah. it through that? How did I make it? How am I still alive? You know, yes. the stupid things that we do. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, but, you know, sometimes that can try to follow us hmm. into our life as a believer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, God is a God of light and a God of hope. Mm -hmm. and, a, and a God who never changes. He is, he is steadfast. Mm -hmm. And so... When those things try to follow us into our walk with God and into our life as a believer, we need to know that that is not God. Right. And so it's not, and I, and I use this word carefully, cautiously, it's not normal mm -hmm. that we spend our days mm -hmm. feeling like we're groping in the darkness, not knowing right. where we're going or what we're touching, mm -hmm. or getting all scared and, and you know, just freaked out mm. because we touched something we didn't know what it was, or because we don't know where we're going. Mm -hmm. See, that's not God. God doesn't do that. Mm. There will be times and there will be seasons, like we talked about last week, where we may feel like we're not hearing from God, mm. but we should never feel like we're in the dark. Mm. And if we are feeling like we're in the dark, we need to know that that's one of two things usually. It's either our own emotions mm -hmm. getting in the way, getting between us and God, or it's the enemy attacking us. Mm -hmm. And so the, both of those things require that we do one thing, and that is to draw near to God. Mm -hmm. We need, because God, God is more trustworthy than anyone on the earth. Right. So God will never leave us or forsake us. Mm -hmm. And that's a scripture. We'll put that up on the screen. God will never abandon us. Mm -hmm. And so if we feel like we're in the dark, it's because we've let our emotions or something that we've gone through mm -hmm. separate us mm -hmm. from God. Right. And that's never a good thing. We should never feel separated from right. God. We should never feel a division there. Right, and fear will cause that That's a lot exactly of times. Right. When we begin to fear, mm -hmm. you know, certain things, it, it's almost like a, a light blinking saying, okay, something's wrong here. You're yeah. starting to fear. Mm -hmm. Because when you're with God, 
you don't have a lot of that fear. Mm -hmm. You have more trust. You know, yeah. a lot of times we don't know exactly what's going to happen or we haven't heard from them in a while. Right. So, you know, we're going to do one of two things. We're either going to let our emotions take us into that round of fear, mm -hmm. you know, just stop being fearful. Yeah. Or we're going to say, no, God is with me. He mm -hmm. will show me. Mm -hmm. I will hear from him when I need to and start building that trust muscle up you know right. the, when we yep. start moving in that direction right you know if we start going into the fear stop we stop feeling fearful then that should be something telling us something's wrong here right, right now mm -hmm. and yes you know we do feel fear at times mm -hmm. you know even when we're on the right track yeah. but it's different. We cannot remain in it. We can't right. stay in it to the point where we're getting depressed mm -hmm. and we're getting sad and we're not able to move forward. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to turn that fear. We have to turn it around and we have to let God show us, okay, I'm feeling fearful right now. I don't understand mm -hmm. or see what's going on. Lord God, show me. Mm -hmm. What is it? What's happening right now? Why do I feel this way? Mm -hmm. See, now you're turning that fear into trusting. You're trusting him right. now and you're saying, okay, I'm trusting you that you're going to take me out of this place that I'm feeling mm -hmm. right now and bring mm -hmm. me into your right. uh, faith, uh, trusting mm -hmm. faith, right. and show me exactly what I need to see at this right. time mm -hmm. to keep me going, to keep me moving, and to keep me walking and down the path I should be on at this time That's in right. my life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because as we're walking with God, even though we face things that are, that are scary, mm -hmm. things that are difficult, as we trust Him, mm -hmm. the fear will subside. That's right. And, you know, that's not always an easy thing. And mm -hmm. so don't, don't take it as though we're saying, oh, you know, just brush it off and right. have, have faith because mm -hmm. we're flesh and bone human mm -hmm. beings. Mm -hmm. And human beings have emotions. And, you know, God placed in us the ability to fear things yes. because fear can save our lives mm -hmm. at times. That's yes. a healthy type of mm -hmm. fear. But this is a different type of fear. And this, this is the type of fear that will make us feel like we're in a dark room with no clue as to mm, what's going right. on, what's around us, mm -hmm. or what we're supposed to do. Right. So again, you know, like you were saying, mm -hmm. we, we shouldn't get to that point. We shouldn't allow ourselves to get to that point because fear doesn't just come in like a flood usually. It trickles in. Right. It grows on you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know... You said it grows on you. It kind of reminds me of like a fungus or something. It just grows a little at a time it's in the bigger dark. And you know? bigger like and mushrooms, they the grow in the you... dark. And yes. Mushrooms are nothing well, but fungus. Yes. That's why I don't eat mushrooms. Right? <laughs> I but, love mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we have to know, we're just crazy. We have to know and understand that, that when we feel fear coming against us, yes. we can't let it continue to. Right grow and grow until it overtakes mm -hmm. us right because that is not the way of god that's right that is the way of the enemy mm -hmm. and the enemy will sneak in in little tiny pieces at a time until the next thing you know we're not just in a room with figuratively speaking we're not just in a room with the blind closed mm -hmm. and it's a little bit dark right. we're in a room with no windows and the door is shut and mm -hmm. there's no light whatsoever and we're afraid to move right. because we don't know what's there. That's right. So, you know, if we ever start to feel fear, we need to we need to run to God. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, somebody's probably saying, well, how am I supposed to run to God? He's not even here on the earth. He's, you know, wherever. Mm -hmm. Well, you run to God by a, a couple of different things. First of all, and you're probably tired of hearing this, but get into His Word. Mm -hmm. Get into His <laughs> Word. We, we cannot emphasize strongly enough right. how important it is that we get into the Word of well, God. I think it's important for them to know that the Word of God is alive. Mm -hmm. So no matter how many times you read His Word mm -hmm. or you read, you know, read the whole Bible through, His Word is forever. It's mm -hmm. forever. So it's for us every single day. That's it'll right. never get old. It'll, mm -hmm. never, it'll never die. His Word is alive. That's so right. we send you to His Word because it's alive. That's where you're going to find your life, Amen. right there. That's <laughs> Amen. right. Amen. And, you know, and, and many people can testify to this. You can read his word through many, many times from, from mm -hmm. cover to cover yeah. and go back and read something and, and it'll hit you. 
Wow. Different. I didn't, I didn't see that the last time mm -hmm. I read this. You know, the 13th or 14th time I read through this, right. all of a sudden I saw something that I didn't see. Right. And that's because his word is alive. Yes. His word is mm -hmm. alive. Mm -hmm. It's not just words printed on a page. It's the word of God alive and breathing. That's right. I like it, that. Breathing. Yes. It's breathes. It's bre it breathes it's right. life into mm -hmm. us. You know, it breathes. Yeah. What we need to hear sometimes. It'll just... It'll just come off those pages yep. and it'll speak to us. That's why so many times you read the Word of God and like, wow, I've never seen that before in yeah, there. It's exactly. because it just breathed to you. It just breathed life just into your situation. You. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just amazing. You know, any other book you read outside of the Word of God is dead. It, you right. read that book and that book's done. You don't go back usually unless it's a really good story. Sometimes you will, but... You won't get life out of that book. No. You'll just, it's a story. Mm -hmm. But God's word is alive. It's alive. It's alive and he, mm -hmm. he has it here for us. Mm -hmm. That is why we send people to the word of God. You want mm -hmm. an answer? Get in the word of God. That's right. It's alive. It's going to mm -hmm. feed you what you need right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And Getting that's, excited about this. <laughs> but that's because it's alive. It's alive. You know? there's, there's no other way to say it except that His Word is alive. Yes, it is. And so that's why we constantly push people toward His Word. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we may have some answers, but we definitely don't have all the answers. We're just, we're just flesh and bone. Mm -hmm. So and if we do the have word. the answer, we got it from the we Word. We got it from the Word. That's <laughs> it. You know, but... The Word of God and the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. And so we need to be in the Word. Yes. And we need to be... The, the other thing that I was going to say is we need to be communing with God. We yes. need to be talking with mm -hmm. God and listening for God. Mm -hmm. And then heeding His instructions. So get in the Word and get with God. That's right. Those Amen. two things will drive the fear and the yes. darkness out That's of our right. life. Amen. 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 Let's pray. <laughs> yes. Father God, we thank you that you are the God of light, not the God of darkness. And Father, you are the God of faith, not the God of fear. Yes. And so teach us, Lord, to recognize fear. Yes. And teach us to run to you, yes. to run to your word. Mm -hmm. Give us the conviction that we need to do what we need to do. Not just to cower in fear, mm -hmm. not to withdraw and become more and more afraid, mm -hmm. but to stand up against the fear that comes against us mm -hmm. and to go to you to fight that fear and defeat it once and for all. Yeah. Lord God, you did not give us a spirit of fear, no. but you have created us to stand up. Yes in your name and by your spirit not on our own strength so help us to understand that lord god that we would stand against the fear and stand against the darkness and push the enemy back in jesus name we thank you lord god that you have made us warriors warriors who are mighty in your word to advance your kingdom to push back the darkness, to push back the fear, and to walk strongly, even when we may not know what our next step is. We thank you, God, that you are raising us up, and you are teaching us, you are shaping us, and you are molding us into who you want us to be. Lord God, help us to be pliable in your hands, that we would not be like stone, but we would be like clay in your hands, Lord God, that you could shape us and mold us and make us into who you want us to be. And we thank you for who you are, and we pray in the precious, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 No more fear. No more fear. No more darkness. No more darkness. Don't give in to the fear. That's right. Push back against it. Yes. Run to God. Yes. Get in His Word. Spend yes. time with Him. Mm. And take that Word and devour it. Yes. Amen. Eat it like it's, I don't know, a big pizza or something. <laughs> something delicious. <laughs> yes. That because, would be delicious. <laughs> because it's good. Yes. 
His word is good. Yes, His word is. is good yes. for us. Yes. It's what we need to be feasting on every yes. single day. Yes. Amen? Amen. 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 We're a little crazy sometimes, but that's okay. We're crazy for God. Yes, amen. And that's what makes us tick. That's not, right. Not being crazy, but God. He that's makes right. us tick. Amen. So, we love you guys. We love you. And we so appreciate all of you. Yes, thank you so much. We appreciate much. your prayers. You're we so appreciate good to everything us. that you do. Yes. And some days we just, you know, we just we're look just, at each other and we're just in awe. That's right. At, at how, how faithful you guys are yes. when it comes to, you know, praying for us, reaching out. Um, and the whole nine yards, you yes. know. So I'm going to stop babbling. And <laughs> if you guys would share the video yes. with others, if you would like it, we would greatly appreciate that. So until the next video, stay in God's Word. Yes. You take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.